Cameron, first off, how was UA day? Just tell me some of the things you were able to do. Um, it was cool. You know, I enjoyed the game and everything. I was just, um, the mo you know, the thing I wanted to do most of all was get out there, you know, meet with Coach Crystal Ball and Coach Napier because, you know, them them being new, I, I just want to, you know, um, develop a better relationship with them. So, I mean, that was only my second time meeting them in person. So, that's pretty much what it was for, so I can get down there and meet, meet, meet with them. All right, who all went with you? It was just me and my mom. Okay. What, did she get some questions answered? Like, was she looking to see, hey, I want to check out where my son could be going to school? I mean, yeah, she's just real big into, you know, how, how the academics and everything work. But, you know, that, that was just the main intention of the trip was just, you know, for me to get down there and meet, and meet with Coach and they paying Coach Chris a while. Okay. Um, how much of this was, I'm going down there to meet the coaches, or did you treat it as a full recruiting visit? Or was it just a, hey, let's keep the conversation going and keep the relationship good kind of thing? Or open, I guess, where you know what you're talking about. I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, it was a recruiting visit, you know, just like every visit I take is a recruiting visit. But um, for me, for me and my mom, it was just, you know, getting out there and, you know, start, you know, trying to develop a better relationship with them, you know, them being new. Okay. Um, I, same question I would ask an LSU recruit who was at the LSU spring game as, and was also down to Alabama. Why did you go to the UA game and not the LSU game? Because, you know, me being at LSU, man, I've been to LSU, you know, I, I lost count how many times. So, me and, you know, my relationship with LSU coaches, you can't get any better than it already is. You know, it's like family when I go to LSU, man. So, everything, I can't get, my relationship with them can't get no, you know, no better than it already is. So I'm just trying to, you know, further my relationship with the new coaches that they have at Alabama. Okay. You explained this on Twitter, and I'm going to give you a chance to explain it more. Because you went to Alabama, this is no, there. there's an outright leader or anything like that. And it yeah. would it, it would have been reversed if you'd have gone to LSU. Alabama wouldn't have gone wouldn't have been, you know, eliminated. Kind of explain that to people who are going to get to see this. Explain what the tweet? Uh, yeah, explain how just because you went to Alabama, it's not like Alabama is your number one favorite. No, I basically just put that out there because, you know, a lot of people talking, you know, just people talking about this, I mean, they know what they're talking about. So I was, you know, letting everybody know that, you know, just because I'm going to the spring game, that don't, that don't, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean at all that I'm going to the school. I just know how people like, you know, twist, twist everything that happens, you know, twist everything I say. So I was just, you know, sitting, putting it out there just for the record. I know some recruits, I know Garrett Brumfield from U High, when I talked to him, he said, I committed, and I'm not saying you commit to LSU or Alabama, I got it over with just because I was tired of all the crap and I just want to enjoy being a senior. Has those thoughts crossed your mind of, maybe I do need to make this decision so I can go back to being a kid and just having fun? I mean, you think about it, but I mean, I'm I'm not really, I don't even allow myself to get caught up too much in it. Right now, I'm just, you know, you know the, um, thinking about working hard you know, with my teammates so we can go. You know, deep into the playoffs, hoping to get a state championship. All right. You talked to a couple other people talking about how there's a chance that you could graduate early. Yeah. Talk about that. Is that still the plan, and are you on pace to graduate in December? Yeah, I mean, it's something I actually just talked to one of my principals with this morning, but I'm going to give you know, with my counselor and my mom, giving my counselor, and uh, we're going to discuss that a little bit more. So, you know, we can, that's most definitely a possibility. We just want to discuss it a little bit more and see how, how, see how that will work out. Not a possibility. Okay, so it's a possibility. It's not in stone. No, yet. it's not in stone. All right, last question. Academic, or not academically, this summer, mm -hmm. what's the plan? Are you camping some places? Where are you camping? Where um, would you like to camp? I'm going to camps, but, you know, it's not, I'm not working out at anything. It's just going down there, you know, so I can, you know, hang out with, you know, the coaches and, um, you know, just talk with them and, you know, chill out with them. Who? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm more than likely I'm almost, almost dead and I'm being at LSU in Alabama. But, you know, I was thinking maybe I can swing by um, Texas A&M and, uh, Maybe Georgia, no, just a, just a, just a visit. Is this a two horse race in your mind? Yeah. When you think about it, it's an LSU Alabama race mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, I'm I'm open to talking with any college and want to talk to them, but you know it's pretty much a two horse race.